All right, I want to find out whether or not this molecule is R or S. Now, I'm not going to worry about naming the full molecule right now, but I just want to find out whether it's R or S. Now, right here, that's uh, chlorine. I, I only drew that in green just to show that it's chlorine because it might look it might look a lot like a CH or whatever. Anyway, the color doesn't mean anything. So, of course, first thing I need to do is identify the chirality center. And you might say, well, obviously it's the one that has the three-dimensional drawing on it. Not always. And oftentimes, um, they'll get a problem that's it looks like that, and it's there purposefully to throw you off. So you always need to double check that you have found the one and only chirality center. So, okay, finding a chirality center, we need to find it, the, the atom has to have four things attached to it, and the four things need to be different, okay? So here, this carbon has four things attached to it, but three of them are hydrogens. It's not chiral. Same thing there, that's not chiral. This carbon has four things attached to it. Two of them are carbons, and two of them are hydrogens, right? These are different carbons, but these hydrogens are the same, so we don't need to worry about that. This guy has three things attached to it, so we don't need to worry about that. This also has only three things attached to it. I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, so this is the only thing with four things attached to it that are all different. Let's just make sure that they're all different. So we have a methyl group an ethyl group, a chlorine, and this guy. So yes, they are different. They're all attached to the same carbon, that is chiral. Okay, now, let's, now we need to assign priority, okay? And right away I see, okay, I have this double bond thing going on, so I'm gonna need to deal with that. And I'm gonna go ahead off to the right here this is what I would do with, I would just have some scratch paper, and I would just draw this out. So here's the central carbon, and here are the other things. We don't really need to worry about that, so I'm just going to do that. Now this guy is the one that we're interested in. So there's the carbon. There's the carbon that's attached. That's attached to one hydrogen. And now this double bond system, we're going to represent as two separate bonds and it's attached to a C and two H's and also a C and two H's. Okay, so if you don't know why I did that, there's another video in this series that explains, that explains it in some, some detail. So, okay, let's assign priority. Now, you don't always have to find, you know, count everything up. Sometimes it's pretty obvious. And in this case, I could see which is the heaviest one. So we're going to start with the chiral center and work out and find the first point of difference. So here we have a carbon. Here we have a carbon. Here we have a carbon. They're all tied. Here we have a chlorine. Now, which is heavier, chlorine or carbon? Well, if you just look at the periodic table, you know, chlorine is in a completely different period. So it's a lot heavier than carbon. So this is going to be my heaviest. Since it's heaviest, I'm going to give it the highest priority, which is four. Now we need to deal with these other guys. Which one's heavier, which one's lighter, and all that. Well, I'm going to be safe here because I have this double bond, and I'm going to go ahead and count all of these up. So we've looked out from the central carbon, and we have not found a point of difference yet. Because to the central carbon, we have carbon, carbon, and a carbon. So now we need to work out from there. So what's attached to this one? This carbon is attached to three hydrogens. Hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. Now this carbon is attached to a carbon and then two hydrogens. So it's hydrogen, hydrogen. Now what about this guy? Well, that's why I drew this out here. This carbon is attached to a hydrogen, a carbon, and a carbon. So if we were to add these weights up or look at the atomic numbers, we'd see that HHH, that's the lightest of all of these. And then the second lightest would be this guy. 
And the third lightest would be this guy, because two carbons and a hydrogen is heavier than one carbon and two hydrogens. If you really want to, you want to double check yourself, you could do the math and just add up one plus one plus six, and six plus six plus one, so on and so forth. So, the lightest of all of these we decided was this one right here. So it's going to get the lowest priority, priority one. And then the second was this guy, two. And then the third heaviest was this right there. Now, as an aside, I, it can be confusing because this, I mean, this can get confusing because let's say we had a huge chain right here. Let's say it was CH2, 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 on and on and on and on, and it was really big. You might say, well, hold up. Let's add all of that up. We have a carbon, a carbon, a carbon, a carbon, and let's say we added all of those carbons up, all of the numbers, we did six times 100, right? And we got the, you know, 600. And we'd say, well, that's way heavier than this guy right there. So shouldn't that get the first priority? Or, or to get the highest priority? Well, no. Because what we're doing is looking for the first point of difference. And here, we have to look individually at what's attached to this carbon right there. And if this were a huge chain, right? If there were, you know, like a hundred carbons here, you might, it might be tempting to say, well, that's a lot heavier than this, but you have to go by the first point of difference. So here we would only compare the very first atoms, the atoms that are immediately attached to this carbon. We'd say, okay, well, there's a C and there's a CL. Well, that's much heavier. So this, the, the heaviest or the highest priority. Likewise, when we did this and this, those tied, and then we moved out to the next point of difference. So you have to stop at each point of difference and go from there. Even though this might be a huge chain that extends out forever, you have to go by the individual points of difference. Okay, now we're at the point where we need to assign RS. In order to do that, we need to take the lightest, the lowest priority group and rotate it away from us. And as we see right here, the lowest priority group, number one, is coming towards us. So now we're running into a problem. And in the next video, we're going to, we're going to learn how to deal with that.